Hello people, Jen and Polismata here. Today I'll be showing you how to install Adrenaline custom firmware for the EPSB in the PlayStation Vita or Vita TV. In case you don't know what it is, uh, an ECFW or more specifically Adrenaline, uh, it is a custom firmware for the PlayStation Portable emulator found in the PlayStation Vita and PlayStation Vita TV. It can run uh, through Henkaku and it has, well, it's pretty cool, I guess. It has advantages over uh, TNV. And, well, it's good, I guess. It's the way to get PSP games running, uh, PSP games in homebrew running in 3.60, and it works much, much better than, say, VHBL. So, first of all, you're going to need a PlayStation Vita that can run Henkaku. So a 3.60 Vita, you'll be running the latest Henkaku, I guess. Um, at this moment, I don't believe Adrenaline supports the stable Henkaku, so you'll have to go with the Henkaku Beta. Uh, by the time you're watching this, that may no longer be the case, but if you can't get it to work, then go ahead and use uh, Thai Henkaku instead. I'll leave a link down below, so you can go to the beta version installer instead of the stable installer. So you're also going to need the files on below, so the Adrenaline Easy Installer that makes the installation extremely easy, a 6.61 PSP firmware eboot, and that's about it. You'll also need a PSP game, demo version or not, uh, from the PlayStation Store, you can uh, you need it installed on in your uh, on your PlayStation Vita. If you don't have one, there are ways to get it, even if you can't access the PSN. But I'm not going to get into that. Uh, I'll leave a link down below explaining how to get a PSP game now that you can no longer well at least for now you can't access the PlayStation Store. But I'll leave the link explaining how to get a PSP game. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin. So first of all, you will want to start Henkaku and uh, Molecular Shell on the PlayStation Vita itself. So once you've done that, just start the FTP server as usual and go to the PC. Now on the actual PC you will want to start your FTP client. In my case, that would be FileZilla, which I use uh, with both Linux and Windows. I believe there is a Mac version available, but don't quote me on that, because I really am not sure. Either way, any FTP client should do. When you do start FileZilla, uh, just connect to the server, and then uh, you will want to navigate to UX0. Just place the VPK file of Adrenaline Easy Installer somewhere. I know my card is kind of messy, but I promise I will probably fix it and clean it up a little. And then you will want to go to the PSP EMU, uh, EMU, yeah, the PSP Emulator directory under UX0, and you'll want to create a directory called Adrenaline. Under that directory, you will want to upload the eboot file for the 6.61 update for the PSP. And once you do that, you will want to rename that file to 661.pbp. And that will be it for the PC part. The next part is uh, on the PSP, on the PS Vita itself, and it will be pretty much it. Finally, for the PlayStation Vita part, you will want to open Molecular Shell if you don't have it open, and you want to press Start to show the Henkaku settings. Just make sure Enable Unsafe Homebrew is toggled on, and then go and install Adrenaline Easy Installer.vpk. Once it installs, it shouldn't take a long time, you can go back to your live area. Now 
once you are at your live area, you will open Easy Installer, which is, well, easy to use. And you will want to select the first option, Install Adrenaline. You will notice that you'll get something like I did, NPEG 0000005. And that is the title ID for the uh, demo that I have downloaded. The At the moment, the only game, the only PSP game I have on this um, in this uh, memory card that is Ape Escape Demo so just select the game that you want to replace and let it install so after it installs all you'll have to do is reboot the console yes this is needed uh, and the installer does tell you to reboot just press X and let it reboot and once you do reboot, you will want to re-enable Henkaku. And once you re-enable Henkaku, you will want to start Adrenaline, which should be a bubble in your live area. After you open Adrenaline, you should be told to install the PSP firmware. So just let it install and wait till it completes. Once it does complete, you will be greeted with the PSP's XMB setup. So you'll select the language, nickname, etc. And after that, you'll be able to use your uh, PSP, well, I guess the ePSP as a regular PSP. You'll be able to use plugins, you'll be able to use uh, to play CSO and ISO games, and you'll be able to, well, play homebrew in a much less limited way than what VHBL allowed. So to actually exit, you can hold the PlayStation button until the, well, menu pops up, and just press settings which will show the adrenaline menu and just select exit PSP emu application that will make it exit and yeah that's about it so thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please click the like button below subscribe to my channel for more see ya